In today's video, we're going to look at basic deployment and configuration of a file catalyst applet. We'll be using the two-way applet for our example, but the steps are essentially the same for all three applets. At this point, you will have already downloaded the zip archive with the three applets. Using the tool of your choice, unzip the package. This extracts folders containing the three applets, the JavaScript API documentation, and licensing information. Let's go into the folder called Two-Way Applet. Inside is an images folder used by the HTML pages, HTML pages for documentation, an encryption tool, and a sample page that loads the applet. There is also a JavaScript file that is used for configuring the applet, and a Java archive, or JAR file, that is the applet itself. Let's quickly load up that sample page. The top and bottom portions, including the File Catalyst logo, are simple HTML. For your deployment, you will probably put the applet into a pre-existing corporate template or design a more customized page. The applet itself is embedded with one simple line of code. Let's have a look at the page source. Surrounded by standard HTML is a line containing a script tag. All this line says is that we're going to run a script, that the script is in JavaScript, and that the source for that JavaScript is in a file called fcappletscript.js. Before we get to the JavaScript, let's go back to the page with the applet. Without any additional configuration, you could make a connection to a File Catalyst server. If you click the Connect button, a dialog will appear. At this point in time, you could enter all of the required information and make the connection. In most cases, the administrator will probably want to have some basic settings in place to make things easier for the end user. Let's have a look at the JavaScript file and make some changes to the configuration. Most of the variables are fairly self-descriptive, but you can always check the documentation for full descriptions if need be. All we're going to do today is automatically connect to an existing account on a File Catalyst server. The server variable is set to your File Catalyst server's host name. The port defaults to 21. I know that this is the right port for my server, so I'm just going to leave it blank. I'll go ahead and enter a username and a password. Finally, I'm going to set the auto connect variable to be true. Save the JavaScript file. Based on the changes I just made, when I refresh my page, the connect button will disappear and I will automatically be logged into the user account. Let's go ahead and give it a try. As you can see, my local file system is on the left and my files on the remote file catalyst server are on the right. I can transfer between the two locations with drag and drop or by using the arrow icons. The upload and download applets are configured in much the same way as the two-way applet, though of course the features and GUI are different. Be sure to read the documentation and talk to your file catalyst representative in order to create the perfect web-based experience for your end users. Thanks for watching.